Are you a business owner or want to be one? I can imagine you probably don't start a business because you want to invoice clients, pay bills or taxes. Ugh. But as every business owner quickly realises, you need to wear a lot of different hats, especially in the startup phase. Another important hat is marketing and Facebook ads are one of the best ways to increase exposure for your business and generate more sales. But what if you have zero clue where to start? Well, don't worry, you are in good hands here. Let's create a stunning Facebook ad in Canva. Hi, I'm Morgan, a social media manager here at Canva. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a Facebook ad, collaborating with colleagues in real time, sharing and publishing your ads directly to Facebook. It doesn't matter if you're a total newbie, by the end of our time together, you'll know how to confidently create Facebook ads that convert. But first, quick question. Have you subscribed to Canva's channel yet? It's bursting with educational, inspiring videos and tutorials to help you make the most of Canva's ever-expanding features and take your design skills to the next level. Hit the subscribe button now and let's get back to Facebook ads. With one of the largest pools of active users, relatively cheap advertising options and the ability to create targeted and optimised ads, Facebook is an advertising medium most businesses can't ignore. A Facebook ad appears in feed on desktop or mobile as a user scrolls the platform. It can be targeted to a specific group of users who you think can benefit from or would be looking for the products or services you sell. Types of Facebook ads include image ads, carousels, slideshows, videos, stories, instant experience ads, collection ads, lead ads and even ads in Messenger. Quite a few, isn't it? Of course you don't need to use them all. To use the Facebook Ads Manager, you'll need a Facebook business page. To create a new campaign, ad set or ad through the Facebook Ads Manager, tab over to the type of ad you want to create. Click the green Create button to get started. Before I show you how to make some compelling Facebook ads, let's talk about what makes a great one. The best Facebook ads have a clear call to action, visuals that match the tone of the copy and are relevant to the audience, and a good value proposition to draw people in. They should be on brand and can be interactive or static depending on the product you're promoting. In other words, before you make a Facebook ad, you need to know the objective for the ad, who your target market is, and what your unique selling points are. Okay, good. Let's make one in Canva. Open Canva, type Facebook ad into the search bar and hit enter. Here you'll find thousands of ready-made templates to choose from. You'll see you can also specify the type of Facebook ad and choose from carousel ad templates, collection ads, slideshow ads and more. Let's start with a simple image Facebook ad that explains what your business is and what you're selling. Let's pretend I have a juice company selling freshly pressed juice. I'm going to start with a blank template. Start on the home page, click here. Choose the type you want. You'll notice it shows the dimensions when you hover over each. A beautiful 1080 by 1080 canvas ready to go. Head to the upload section to upload your business logo and any images you have ready. Canva also hosts an amazing media library of over a million professional stock photos and illustrations to use on your design. I'll start with my favourite flavour, strawberry. Now the background. I'll match the same red as the carton. Add some text here the all-important call to action. Calls to action like sign up, follow, download, install the app, click on the app and shop now and so on. They tell your audience what you'd like them to do next. 
Without a good CTA, people will see your ad, but they won't have a clue what they're meant to do. And that's a waste of your precious marketing dollars. Hmm, it's looking a bit bland. In the Element tab, just search Strawberry and select Graphic Only, Filter for Static Only, and you'll get a whole range of strawberries. The one I use for the carton is quite a wee bit down. Ah, here we are. Oh, we don't want black. I'll contrast the background with a light pink. Duplicate that a few times. Drop them in the back by selecting them all and using the position tool. I'm liking that. We just made a Facebook ad in a few minutes there, people. If you don't want to choose just one image, a carousel Facebook ad might be the best option to showcase several images. Let me show you how. Simply add a few more pages. I'll do four. Now, we can spread what we are seeing over the pages. Like, I don't need the logo and CTA on every page. They can just go at the end. Let me speed through this so you can see what I mean. Turn the music up, let's get designing. You know, I could even have some of the shapes bleeding onto the next page, building a connection. And add a little sticker up here, a bit of curved text in there. Okay, that's looking good. What questions do you have about what we've covered? Pop them in the comments below and our team will get back to you ASAP. This is looking good, but it's feeling a bit static. Did you know that more than 98% of Facebook users access the platform via their mobile device? And 93% of Facebook's ad revenue is reportedly from mobile ads. That's why it's more important than ever to optimize everything you share on social media for mobile, including ads. So, how do we create award-winning ads for mobile devices? Well, my first tip would be to add some movement. It's really easy to add animation to what we've created. Select the thing you want to animate. Hit the Animate button and select Pop. I don't want to overdo it, but I think these shapes could have tectonic added to them, so they gently glide across the screen. Let's have a look at the finished preview. Nice. It's super easy to add in video file as well. I'll add in one more page. Search in the elements for a video that will work. This one is perfect. And add some white space at the bottom that can hold text. Maybe an animated graphic to go with the video. Add in the text. And maybe one more product shot. What if you want to work on your Facebook ad with others or just get some valuable feedback? Give them editing access to your design so you can collaborate. It is simple as clicking the share button, adding their email in and then Canva will send them a generated link. Collaborators can access your design anytime from any computer, iPhone or iPad device. If you want them not to adjust anything, then maybe give them commenting rights. Once you've put the finishing touches on your ad, you can download it and save it as a PNG or JPEG. 
If you have animated or video content, you'll need to download it as an MP4. Upload it to your Facebook page in a few quick clicks. Or if you've connected your Facebook business page to Canva, you can publish it directly to Facebook without leaving Canva. How awesome is that? I hope that you now feel a less nervous about making your Facebook ad debut. Now, I haven't mentioned a whole bunch of other ad types on Facebook. If you're a pro or Canva for Teams subscriber, it really couldn't be simpler. Head up here and hit the resize button. Type in Facebook story or whatever else you're looking for. Hit copy and resize. Move things around a little and you have a new ad ready to go. So, whether you run your own business or work in the social media industry, you can now experiment with a variety of Facebook ads and leverage the platform's 2 plus billion users. Any questions about Facebook ads or anything we explored in this video, go ahead, drop it in the comments below. Don't be shy, we are here to help. Think outside the box and have fun. I can't wait to see what you create. Hey, hey you, it's me again. One more question before I go. Did you find this video helpful? If so, check out the full playlist. We've got heaps of how-to videos that will walk you through all the features in Canva. It won't be long before you're passing this wisdom on to your friends and fam. Subscribe to our channel and you'll be the first to know when we've published a new video, which happens every week. I'll catch you on another video soon.